Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wildcat Den here at Hayes and Union. I'm your commentator tonight, James Salvis, and we got Liz on tech, and Griff will also be putting in some color from time to time. How's it going? How you doing tonight, Griff? Doing well, pretty excited. Yes, good to have you back. So we'll take you to tip off here as they try and get the light situation figured out here in the Wildcat Den. Seems like this occurs more often than not. <laughs> I'll take a quick second to read our sponsors here right before tip off. We have Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. So doing the tip here, we have um, Chase Lund and Tyler Rivard for the Wildcats as some of the lights are still not on, folks, so we will wait for them to get that figured out. <laughs> no. Cut this, like, uh, this is automatic light system so that, like, when it doesn't detect any motion in the gym, it turns themselves off. Uh, it's been in place since I was in gym class here. And uh, it's kind of finicky these days. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like that used to happen quite a lot, Griff. <laughs> so we await the light situation before we get underway here from the Wildcat Den. Now Xavier Hill is going to give it a try. There we go. That one pops on, and there goes that one. Looks like... All the lights have powered on here in the Wildcat Den, so we're ready to go to tip off. Chase Lund and Tyler Rivard to take the tip, and we're underway. That's back to Xavier Hill. He'll bring it up here in the uh, forecourt. He'll find Moody, quick three. Oh, in and out, no good. Nice quick shot there by Moody. Rebound for Gabe Mitchett. Now Xavier Hill. He'll try the three and can it. Xavier Hill from downtown getting the Wildcat offense started early. Now Lund, he has it. One nice in-out dribble. He'll drive it to the rack, goes up, no good. Rebound downhill. He'll find Rivard on the fast break. Rivard, oh, tried to dunk it, but he'll lay it in. Everybody was telling me Rivard's tried to dunk a couple times this year, but got it off the back iron. Now up in a hurry with it. That is number 12, Reese Ilsley. He'll keep it on the far side. Skip pass here to Cordy. Lund with it now. Looks like he wanted to shoot the three. That skipped away almost. Ilsley saves it. Now Gabe Mitchett's going to jump on it. You see, Griff, with uh, Jaden Baker not starting tonight, Gabe Mitchett will make his second start of the season. Yep. As we saw three Mitchets start uh, earlier in the week against Stowe. That was cool to see. Yeah, just tons of them out there. There is. And Ilsley, he'll bring it up now. Now, Matthew Cordy with it. Oh, Cordy almost loses the handle, but he keeps it. He'll go here near side, Lund with it for the Olympians. Oh, Lund, nice dribble there, picked up by Mitchid. That is Lincoln Mitchid, the mayor. Outside with it, that's Danforth. Now he'll find Lund, almost loses it out of bounds. One now back tipped away by Rivard. Oh, and he won't get there in time to save it from going out of bounds. As you see, there's no shot clock in high school basketball in Vermont, so they don't have to worry about that. Although, Griff, I heard it's coming. Really? Yes, in the next couple of seasons. Oh, man. That now, will make things interesting. It sure will. Now Ilsley with it on the far side. Ilsley skip pass inside, stolen by Lincoln Mitchell. Skip pass ahead, Rivard, he'll lay it in, and he's fouled, bucket and the bruise for Tyler Rivard. Nice job to sprint out there on the fast break and get it. Rivard has four. Oh, free throw rolls in for Rivard, he's got five. And Xavier Hill has three. Ilsley now, he'll bring it up. 8 nothing lead for the Wildcats. Ilsley will shoot the tray ball, and he'll tickle the twine. 
Reese Ilsley, much like his brother Bryce, who played here, uh, who played at Oxbow, very good three-point shooter. Now that's uh, Gabe mentioned. He'll find Xavier Hill. He'll try and answer back. No good. Rebound down Reese Ilsley. Ilsley here near side. Lund with it. Lund almost loses it. Picked up tight by the mayor, Lincoln Mitchett. One thing Lincoln and I have in common, the nickname the mayor. I'm called the mayor of Linden at college. And, <laughs> and Lincoln Mitchett is called the mayor here at Hazen. Oh, turnaround jumper, no good for Ilsley. Now Hill with the rebound, he's gonna push the pace. Hill goes inside, Rivard. Oh, they're gonna call the charge. Rivard took out Chase Lund in the paint on the far side. Came in there pretty hot, Griff. Yeah, good call, good call. Oh, Chase Lund, it looks like we got some Broken glasses out there, Griff. Trust yeah. me, I know what that's like. Oh yeah, I was wearing glasses when I was playing too, and uh, that was my biggest fear. That's why I used to wear Rex Specs, Griff. If you know what those are, the I goggles. Do. I had those when I was like really young. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I wore them for a little while in high school, but then switched back to regular glasses. Inside, Oxbow tries another jumper. That's no good. Oh, baseball has a uh, football pass there. Oh, up in Lincoln, Mitchett with the and one. Attack the 10 with some authority there off the fast break. Nice uh, full court pass from Tyler Rivard. That was like Patrick Mahomes to Travis Kelsey there in the end zone. <laughs> Mitchett finished it. Mitchett free throw up, no good. Rebound down for Rivard up off the window, gets it for two. Rivard with seven points early. You know, Aaron Hill told me before the game what a rebounding machine Rivard is, but it's been tough because they've been winning a lot, so it's tough to play guys, play those guys a lot of minutes. Skipping a lot of third quarters and fourth quarters with, with Tyler, you mean? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, he mm -hmm. said Tyler and a lot of their key guys have only been playing around two and a half quarters of basketball. I do want to take a quick second to give a shout out to Joey Hall. It's her birthday today as Lance is home, so happy birthday to Joey Hall, happy 21st. And it's also Karen Collier's birthday today. Happy birthday to her as well. I'll take a second and read our sponsors again. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. So Griff, it's been pretty, uh, pretty fast paced for the Wildcats so far in the early going. They're really not afraid to uh, just get that ball um, down the court as fast as possible on these rebounds. You know, they're getting these rebounds pretty pretty uh, efficiently. You know, Tyler and Lincoln are both pretty tall, but everybody knows how to box out and, and rebound really well on this team, and they're just executing at such a high level right now. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Aaron Hill, Aaron Hill runs such a great fundamental program here for the Wildcats, and yeah. everybody knows how to do a lot of things on the team. Those cross-court passes that are to, the, to the leak out, um, player running down the court after the rebound. Those are not easy to do, and a lot of players, like, just, you know, shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just giving the ball back to their team a lot of the time, but many players on this team are capable of passes like that. Yes, and it works out well for the Wildcats, as we see Ilsley with it now for the Olympians. Now they find uh, Gravelin. Gravelin keeps it. He'll go out here. Now they'll find Ilsley. He likes to shoot the three ball. Hillsley not afraid to let it fly for the Oxbow Olympians, an excellent three-point shooter in his own right. Xavier Hill, the southpaw for the Wildcats. Skip pass, that's inside. Gabe Mitchett goes up off the window and gets it, so he'll join his big brother in the scoring column. Number three, Gravelin with it. Gravelin nice and out dribble. Gravelin by Dilsley here near side. That's Cordy. Cordy inside, floats it up, no good. Went around the rim and no good. Now Brendan Moody, the transfer from PA. He'll take it inside. Brendan Moody, bucket the bruise. As they say, baby Brendan Moody, as there's three of them. His dad also named Brendan, and his grandfather was also named Brendan. <laughs> Moody out of Wolcott, Vermont. 
And he'll hit the free throw, so he'll convert it. Moody with three points. Moody, a good player for the PA varsity team last year. Good to see him with the Wildcats this year. As that is Gravelin. Gravelin now, he'll find Griffin. Griffin poked out of bounds by Reaver. This is a 17 to three lead for the Hazen Wildcats. Here with 3.36 left to go in the first quarter. Inbound there, Lund with it. Seems like he got the glasses repaired. Little duct tape. Oh, and a scoop. Oh, Gra uh, Cordy there tried to scoop and score. Mitchett on the fast break. Oh, he went up. I think it just slipped out of his hand there, Griff. I think he was trying yeah. to use the window, but just slipped out of his hands when he went up for the layup. Now Mitchett Hill inbound to Hill. Now Moody with it, back to Hill. Go back to Moody, he'll test his luck. Deep and he'll tickle the twine. Brendan Moody, you betcha, from downtown, the sharpshooter. He's got six early points for the Wildcats. One with it, one takes it inside. They're gonna call the charge. Xavier Hill gets in there, way to draw one. As you see, no subs yet for the Hazen Wildcats with 2.58 to go in the first quarter. That's just such high level defense. Uh, funneling the, the driver into the baseline and then coming over that help defense, just there's nowhere for him to go. It is. Uh, very, very high level defense ran by most Aaron Hill teams. Moody, he'll try another three. That one's up no good. Moody shoots the three ball well though. One for three on the evening. Revard now, he'll find Hill, another good three point shooter and he'll bury it. Xavier Hill, Hill the thrill, that's what I'll call him. Or the X-Man as Lance Hill, uh, Lance Hall calls him. But I like Xavier Hill the thrill. <clears throat> He's two for two, uh, two for three from beyond the arc, Lund with it. Poked out of bounds, nice hands there by Adam Gann on the bench. <laughs> Scoop that one up. It's gonna be Matthew Cordy to inbound here. Ooh, a couple nice cuts there by Lund. Now Danforth, he goes back to Cordy. Cordy couple in out dribbles, finds Dan, uh, Lund on the wing. Lund now looking for anybody to give the ball to. Revard on the deck and so is Lund. They'll call the, oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, Gabe Mitchett on the ground. Couple big kids for the Wildcats this year too, Griff. Oh yeah. Revard and all three Mitchett boys. They got some height, they got some strength. Xavier is pretty tall as well. He'll go to Mitchett, Mitchett quick pass. That was Mitchett to Mitchett to Revard. Lincoln and Gabe on the floor. Now Hilda inbound. He finds Lincoln Mitchett, he gets it, bucket and a bruise. Four points early for Lincoln Mitchett, the senior forward. Ooh, Lincoln a little heavy on the free throw, Revard with the rebound. Oh, tries to pass it out, stolen away there by Reese Hillsley. Pass up there, that's number five, Cordy. Cordy in out dribble now, throws it to Lund, tries the mid-range jumper, no good. Tyler Revard adding to his fair share of rebounds, he'll push the pace. Finds Moody, ooh, Hill told him to shoot it. Now Gabe Mitchell will find his brother Lincoln back out to Moody. You see quick ball movement inside Revard with it. Outside Xavier Hill, three up, no good. Quick, quick release for Xavier Hill, Griff. You see, he gets the three off in a hurry. Yeah. The, the they're just making these decisions really quickly. Like, let them go in, but the key is just deciding immediately if you're gonna shoot or not, and he's just got the green light, so just go for it. That's Revard, oh, tries the dunk again. This time he's fouled, so he'll miss that one. 
Tyler Rivard, the very athletic center for the Hazen Wildcats. So it's a 25 to three lead here in the first quarter. 58.7 seconds to go. Rivard's gonna head to the line for two. As you see, only two, uh, three seniors on this Wildcat team, Griff. Jaden Baker, Tyler Rivard, and Lincoln Mitchett. Mm -hmm. First free throw good for Rivard. That puts him at eight points on the evening. And Rivard, second free throw no good, but Mitchett, the other good rebounder for this Wildcat team, he'll get it. Now it's poked away by the Olympians. So the Wildcats will get it back. Inside Moody, turnaround, three ball, you bet. Brendan Moody with nine points on the evening. He's two for four from beyond the arc. Brendan Moody, an excellent ball player. He may be small, but boy, he plays a lot bigger than his body. Lund with it now for the Olympians, trying to get some kind of offense going for him. Foul on the floor. Gabe Mitchett's gonna pick up his first foul. This is a 29 to three lead for the Wildcats. Griff, you know, it's not often you see teams score almost 30 points in a quarter. This, uh, this team is converting uh, their defensive plays into points really, really well. Yes, they score a lot of points off turnovers. You're gonna win a lot of ball games doing that. Now Lund, he'll try the jump shot, he's fouled. Chase Lund, the only, the lone senior on this Oxbow Olympians team. He'll head to the line and shoot two. Foul there is gonna come back to Lincoln Mitch, it is first. And Chase Lund, free throw good there. Oh, I'm sorry, shooting three, they'll say he got fouled on the three. So the first one's good. Second one, a little short. A little more legs on that one for Chase London. It'll fall. And the third one good. So two for three at the line. Not bad there for Chase Lund. Moody, feed the hot hand. Why don't you? Brendan Moody with 12 points, three for five from beyond the arc. Boy, that kid's a pistol. Tell you what, Lund now throws it right to Rivard. Rivard finds Moody, step back, three at the buzzer, no good. So Moody, three for six from beyond the arc, 50% to start the game from downtown. What a, what a shooting job by Moody there, Griff. Yeah, but it's also really good ball movement and really good moving without the ball by Hazen to get him open looks. He's like running all over the place and the Hazen players are finding him in open locations. They sure are. I'll take a second and read our sponsors real quick. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. If you want to know, uh, some applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. They have programs like Allied Health, Automotive Technology, Ex uh, Exploratory Pre-Tech, Forestry and Land Management, Heating, Ventilation and Air, and much more. So if you're interested in that, check it out at gmtcc.lnsd.org. We could not be us without them, our sponsors. As you'll see now, the Olympians are gonna start with the ball here. That is number two, Ethan Emerson. And Ethan Emerson there gets the quick basket. Oh, Moody fouled hard at the foul line, at the three point line. He'll head to the line and shoot three. I'm gonna write down points here. Rivard has eight. Lincoln Mitchett has four. Brendan Moody has 12 as of right now, but he's heading to the line for three. 
Make that 13. I'm trying to think, Xavier Hill has six. Gabe Mitchett has two. And I believe that's it. Two for two so far at the line for Moody. He's got one more to shoot as it's a 34-7 Hazen lead with the second quarter just getting underway. Oh, Moody misses the third one. That'll put him at 14 points on the evening. Griff, he is my early James Salvis player of the game nomination. <laughs> he had 12 first quarter points. As I said, six for Xavier Hill, eight for Rivard, two for Gabe Mitchett, and four for Lincoln Mitchett. Up the court with it now is Lund. Now inside, Reese Hillsley goes up no good. Xavier Hill with the rebound, he'll push the pace. Xavier Hill out finds Moody. Oh man, you bet. Brandon Moody with 17. He is four for seven from beyond the arc. Or four for, yeah, four for seven from beyond the arc. He has 17. Juicy Ilsley with it now. Oh, looking with it now, outside Ilsley. Ilsley will turn, shoot it, no good. Rebound down for Rebard. Now hit the deck, the X-Man, Xavier Hill is gonna get it back. He'll bring it up now, finds Moody. Moody here finds Logan Morrison in the corner now. Moody, he'll try one from Baker range, up off the backboard, no good, four for eight from downtown. Rivard with the nice rebound, rebound Rivard as Hall calls it, Lance Hall calls him. Skip pass now, finds Morrison inside Rivard. Up, no good. Rivard started the game off hot, but uh, scoring's gone a little slow for him, Griff. Yeah, well, I mean, might as well just keep passing to Brendan, so can't blame him for not taking many Yeah, might attempts. as well. Feed the hot hand. Speaking of pass to Brendan, that was a nice bounce pass for him, but you see Brendan Moody very small, so hard to find him in tight spaces like that. Rivard's going to take a seat. Lincoln Mitchett's going to come in for him. Also on the floor for the uh, Wildcats, we have Sully Laflame. He plays uh, both Griff. He's a swing player, comes up from JV. Plays mostly varsity though. Inside Morrison. That'll go up, no good. Mitchett fighting for the board. Lincoln Mitchett will pick up the foul. His second on the evening. You see, he just ran over um, Gavin Stratton there. Or, or he just ran over Matthew Cordy there, Griff. Yep. Cordy, speaking of which, will bring it up. He'll find Ethan Davis. Davis now finds Emerson. Emerson far side finds Cordy. Cordy now finds Davis. Davis outside Emerson. He'll launch the quick three. That's up, no good. Rebound down Mitchett. Hill, he'll find Moody. Turnaround, Ryan Morrison. His first points of the evening. Now Davis, Davis finds Emerson. Emerson far corner finds Cordy. Matthew Cordy, three up, no good. Rebound down, Mitchett finds Hill. Mitchett was fouled there. I'll just say Mitchett, because Lincoln's the only one of the Mitchett bros on the court right now. I think we're getting a second here in a second though. Yes, his younger brother Morgan Mitchett's about to come in. He will check in for Xavier Hill. So Morgan Mitchell, we've seen two out of the three of them on the court together, but we have yet to see all three Mitchell brothers on the court together. The, the trifecta. The Mitchell trifecta. And a timeout for the Wildcats. Griff, pretty, uh, pretty action-packed even in the second half so far to start, or second quarter so far. Yep, um, they're just moving the ball really quick. You know, like we were just talking, Brendan has been shooting lights out. Um, that last, the last one that he hit was uh, Xavier. Xavier kind of pushed the pace off of the rebound and kind of dribbled into a dribbled into a cloud of of Oxbow players. Didn't really have anywhere to go, but just by pushing the pace a little bit in in like semi transition, 
got Brendan an open look. He relocated right into a really nice spot on the wing. And it was really easy for Xavier to just find him. And uh, Hazen is making it easier, easy for themselves on these plays. They really are. Their offense has been excellent. So we see Mitch is going to go to the line and shoot a one and one. He'll hit the first one. Mitchid now, second free throw gets them both. Mitchid has six. That is Lincoln, the mayor. Now two finds Cordy. Matthew Cordy pass out. I think that foul is gonna come back to Sully Laflame, his first. Yeah, so that's that same play that we saw. Um, I think it was like Xavier and Lincoln made before where he kind of you get the guy to go to the baseline and funnel him into that uh, into that uh, rim protector and then step over and take the charge. But Laflamme just didn't get his feet set. It was the right play, um, but they need to execute that a little bit better. Yeah, actually, they're going to call. Oh, never mind. They're going to give it to Sully now. They called Lincoln with his third originally, but now they're going to give it to Sully Laflamme. Got the wrong number on the scoreboard. Yep. Three good there, I believe, by Ilsley. Oh, no, actually, that was Emerson, I think. Now, uh, Morgan Mitchett inside finds Ryan Morrison, his second bucket of the evening. He has four. Up the court with the now Cordy. Stolen away there. Laflame. He's going to take it up. Oh, he hits the mat hard. Sully Laflame, the swing player, hits the wall pretty hard there. Tough kid by the looks of it, though. So Sully's going to head to the line and shoot a one and one. Free throw, first one good for Sully Laflame. Ooh, second one, no good. Heavy by Sully Laflame. Now Emerson with it. Back to Davis. Davis, nice in out dribble. Finds Cordy. Cordy tries to find a pass. Morgan Mitchett, he'll take it. Moody now into the forecourt. With it, Moody only a sophomore, too, Griff. Wow. Wildcats will have him for a while. Brendan Moody, hot hand, tries the three up, no good, four for nine. Like to hit his next one to get back to 500. For 50%, oh, Lincoln looking for his younger brother Morgan. Threw it just a little bit too high. Now Gabe Mitchett's gonna come in for Brendan Moody. There's the Mitchett trifecta griff. All right, here we go. Of Morgan, Gabe, and Lincoln. The, the Triforce. Yes, the Triforce Mitchids. With Lincoln, the mayor, being the oldest. Number two, that is uh, Ethan Emerson with it. He'll find Cordy there on the far side. Cordy gets it poked away. Oh, Gabe Mitchid, you see aggressive getting in there. As there is number three, Will Gravelin. He'll, hit, he'll get his first points of the night. That's three for him. 44-13 lead for the Wildcats. 3.08 left to go in the second quarter. Morrison goes up and he's fouled. Ooh, first one for Ryan Morrison. Just rolls in and out. They're going to have a lot of seniors next year on this team, though, Griff, because Ryan Morrison, Gabe Mitchell, Liam Jerkovitz, Xavier Hill, and Dustin Piangirelli are all juniors. Yep, uh, five juniors right now. Five juniors and three seniors, I think? Yes. A couple sophomores and a couple freshmen. 
Inside, speaking of Ryan Morrison, he'll get that score. He's so good at sealing off like that. Uh, that's like the third or fourth time. I mean, he's not even, a, you know, <laughs> he's backing up Tyler Rivard. Uh, but he's doing really good at those post movements on the block. And speaking of which, Tyler Rivard will check in for Ryan Morrison. I think Morrison missed both at the line, Griff. Yep. So yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. If you're going to be a post guy and get in there and bang bodies and uh, get shots up, then if you can convert your free throws, then you're a real scoring threat. Exactly. Now Hill with it. Hill will find Rivard. Rivard, nice reverse layup. Couldn't get it. Got the rebound. Put it back up and got it the second time. So Tyler Rivard, the second Wildcat in double figures tonight. Griff, he has 10. And probably around that in rebounds. Nice move there by uh, Davis. Now Cordy gets it stripped by Morgan Mitchell. No good by Emerson. Oh, Rivard, what a save. Gabe Mitchell, he'll keep it. Now Morgan Mitchell with it. He'll find Hill. Hill now finds Morgan Mitchell. Looking for his older brother, Lincoln. Morgan still young, Griff, still young, only a freshman. <laughs> Got plenty of time. He he tore up the JV game. Uh, he was just head and shoulders above everybody in the JV game. I, I, was, I, I think, uh, what did I watch, maybe the second quarter and the third quarter, or maybe only part of the second quarter, and he's just... Really controlling traffic out there. He's he's really good. The three was no good by Gravelin. Now Gabe Mitchell. He'll pick up bucket number two on the evening. He's got four. Now Cordy, he'll find Emerson. Emerson here near side finds Griffin. Griffin outside finds Davis. Oh, up taken. I think that foul is gonna come back to Morgan Mitchell. And the thing is, Griff, is all three of the Mitchell brothers look alike. <laughs> Morgan, not quite as much as Gabe and Lincoln do, but there's definitely some similarities in build between the three Mitchell brothers. And Brendan Moody will come in for Morgan Mitchell. You see, uh, it, it was cool to see Morgan Mitchell, you know, like you said, come up from JV and then get a start on varsity. Yeah, which which game was that? A couple couple games ago or something? Yes, that they all started. Ago. That was nice. at Stowe, uh, here against Stowe. Nice. Hill with it. Hill now finds Moody inside, finds Rivard. Rivard, nice pump fake, missed it. Now Lincoln Mitchell finds Hill. Corner, you see the ball movement again. Just seems to find Moody. He'll miss yeah. that one. He's four for 10. Although 40% from three, not bad at all, Griff. That's gonna be a travel there on Ethan Davis, his first with 39.3 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. A 50 to 13 lead for the Wildcats. That's a good defensive play by, by Xavier there. That's, that's a really hard play to not foul on. He does not have time to get his feet set, but he still doesn't foul and doesn't give up the layup. Absorbs a little bit of contact without fouling and causes the, the, the attacker there to fall down. Yes, Rivard inside now. He'll lay it in. Rivard just does a great job too, Griff. Like you, you said, that seal with Morrison, he just right. does such a great job. Well, that ball movement around the perimeter like that, it's like the defender has Rivard. is trying to guard Rivard as well as they can. Rivard again, geez, from transition. Trying to guard Rivard as well as they can. And then all of a sudden, the ball's in a different place, so you can't seal him off 360 degrees. No, you can't. So all of a sudden, he's wide open on the block, and you're out of position. <laughs> Another one. They tried the lob pass there for Rivard. That's no good. So at halftime, it's a 54-13 lead for the Wildcats. I'll take a second to read our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back with all your action from the second half. We are back here, getting ready to start the second half as at halftime it was a 54-13 lead for the Wildcats. I'll go down the scoring real quick. 17 for Brendan Moody, one for Sully Laflame, six, uh, six for Xavier Hill, 
Tyler Rivard has 14, four for Gabe Mitchell. Ryan Morrison with six and Lincoln Mitchell with six. For the Olympians, Ethan Emerson has five, Will Gravelin has three, Reese Ilsley has three, and Chase Lund has two. And I'll also read our sponsors real quick, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC Jumpstart Your Future. Should be Hazen Ball here. Uh, it's going to be Oxbow ball here. Will Cord uh, Matthew Cordy is going to bring it up. Inside floater from Reese Hillsley, no good. Rebound down for Xavier Hill. Hill's going to push the pace. He'll go there. Far side, he'll find Gabe Mitchett now. Gabe will find Lincoln. Lincoln back to Gabe. Gabe now finds Moody. Moody looked like he wanted to shoot the three. Skip pass for Xavier Hill. Now Gabe finds Rivard inside. Lincoln missed it. Got his rebound, missed that too. Good effort there by Lincoln Mitchell. Just couldn't get the score off the follow. Which is one thing Hazen does well, Griff. Second chance points and fast break points. Yeah, they're so good at hustling for rebounds. And Tyler and Lincoln have so much height. They, they do. It's Twin towers in there, pretty much. Yeah. For there's Tyler. a lot of height on this team, you know, up and down the up and down. There the is. List. Xavier's pretty tall. Yeah. Gabe Mitchett's tall. Moody, quick three. That's up, no good. Started the game off four for ten. He's four for eleven from beyond the arc now. Started the game off hot, but then has gone a little bit cold shooting as a late Griff. Yeah, you got to keep shooting though. I mean, you do. He's getting great shots. Yeah. Great shots. Rivard definitely in contention for player of the game now. Griff with 14 and probably close to that in rebounds. Now Lund to skip pass for Ilsley out of bounds it goes. Kicked up in the air over there by the alum Carter Hill. A lot of alum in attendance here. Carter Hill is in attendance. Um, who else did I see? I saw a couple of other alumni here before the game. Kevin Doyon is an assistant. Now up Hill with it. <coughs> Hill, he'll shoot it, no good. My mom is a Hazen alum, she's in attendance. <laughs> Griff, Liz, I believe you're both Hazen alums. Well, Griff I am. Is. Liz is not, actually. Liz is but, not. Griff yeah. is. She's just a, she's a faker. <laughs> she's a wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> now Ilsley with it. Ilsley now, he'll find Lund. Lund shoots the mid-range jumper. That's up no good. You see, Griff, Lund has that kind of high arc and jump shot. Yep. He gets up high. He's, he's got a little bit of height. That's a tough shot to defend. It is. Fortunately, he really hasn't got going tonight. Moody, he'll try that three, and he'll tickle the twine. Brendan Moody, 20 points for him. Five for 12 from beyond the arc for Brendan Moody. Still a pretty good percentage. Inside with it, they looked for um, Brady Nichols there, but it was poked out of bounds, or they looked for Garrett Danforth there, but poked away by Gabe Mitchell. Now uh, stolen away by Hill right off the inbound. Xavier Hill, you know the last name Hill here for the Wildcats, a very prestigious name. Rivard takes it inside through the contact and scores it. Nice move there, Griff. Yep, it's really good execution. Um, just putting your hands up on defense on an inbound and just kind of watching the person's eyes, making that play, and just converts into a nice layup on the other side. He does through contact, too, not afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew Cordy is going to head to the line now as Xavier Hill is going to pick up foul number one on the evening. Cordy, first free throw, rolls around, and that's good. Cordy's second free throw good, so he'll pick up his first two points on the evening. Skip pass here for Gabe Mitchell. He'll go back to Xavier Hill. Skip pass finds Lincoln. 
Over to Moody, quick three. Oh, in and out, no good. Five for 13 now. Oh, Rivard, another rebound. He'll go up second chance point and get it. Again, what is Rivard so good at? That right there, folks. Who up off the backboard. Hard shot there, but he's fouled. Rivard now with 18, Griff. And Brendan Moody with 20. And a timeout for the Oxbow Olympians. 61-15 lead for the Hazen Wildcats. 4.58 to go in the third quarter. I'll take a second and read our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. I'll read off a couple more of these applications that are open for GMTCC. Allied Health, Automotive Technology, Business Administration, Computer Networking, Construction Technology, Cooperative Education, Creative Art, uh, Media Art and Design, Culinary Arts, big program there, Electrical Technology, Exploratory Pre-Tech, uh, Forestry and Land Management, Heating and Ventilation and Air, Conditioning, Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems. So you see many, many programs there available for GMTCC. You can apply to those at gmtcc.lnsd.org. One now, he'll shoot two off the foul by Mitchett, his third. Lund will miss it. Chase Lund hit two for three earlier. Lund will hit the second one. Lund three for six at the free throw line tonight. 50%. Now Xavier Hill. You see some of the main guys, Griff, have played some decent minutes tonight. Yeah, i um, surprised. I, I think at some point here, we'll start to clear the bench out and get these starters some rest. I agree, Xavier Hill, three, cans it. He's got nine, good game for the X-Man tonight. Hill the thrill. Now here near side, Lund with it. Lund fakes it and drives it up through contact, spins it off the backboard, no good. Tried to put a little English on it. Hill up finds Rivard. Rivard, you know, trying to call for a screen, I think, now finds Hill. Hill over here to Laflame. Laflame inside finds Morrison outside Moody. Now Hill, quick shot. Back to back checks for Xavier Hill. He's got 12 points. Back to back tray balls for him. Third Wildcat in double figures. You see Griff Hill, like I said, gets that shot off so quick. Yeah. I mean, he knows he's shooting that while the ball is still in the air on its way to him. You just catch it in your motion. He does. Uh, Lund misses it. And it's so hard for them to close out. Sure is. Hill with it now. Hill now. Finds the flame. Morrison. Tries to find a cut and rebound. It's turned over. Now, that was Cordy with it. Now we'll find Griffin. Griffin now finds Danforth. Danforth inside, blocked by Rebard and out of bounds. Awesome defense there. Very good defense, that, as you see. That's tough to do and not foul, and uh, he did a great job. As you see, Gavin Stratton's going to come in for Xavier Hill, get Stratton some minutes. I wonder if, I think Stratton's a swing player, but I'm not sure. Actually, no, he's just varsity. Ilsley with it. Ilsley has very vibrant shoes. It's one thing you see a lot of, Griff, in today's game. You see a lot of vibrant basketball shoes now. I like Brendan's shoes, too. Yeah, I do kind of like the pinkish. Brendan's got these pink ones right here. They're pretty cool. Yeah, Over here we got these green ones. Yep. Now Laflame with it, he'll find Morrison. Morrison inside, look for Rivard. Rivard will get it now. He'll find, oh, try and find Laflame. That hit the divider. Morgan Mitchell, he's gonna come in for Brendan Moody. Inside, Rivard tries to find a pass for Ryan Morrison, can't get him. Oh, 
Oh, and off the foot of Ilsley and out of bounds, you see Stratton there, Griff, the sophomore on varsity for the Wildcats. One of only two sophomores on varsity, the other one is Brendan Moody. Inside, Mitch, oh, Rivard, he'll get fouled. around and in for Rebard. And both good for Rebard. He's got 20 now. Now Lund with it. Lund finds Ilsley. Hillsley has had a quiet night for the Oxbow Olympians. I know how good of a shooter he is. For this Olympians team, as you see Liam Jerkovitz in the game now. Gosh, Griff, he is a pretty fun last name to say. <laughs> Jerkovitz. Jerkovitz. Liam Jerkovitz, he's the junior. He is a junior. His little brother plays on JV. Now inside with it now, Morgan Mitchett, he found Gavin Stratton. Now inside, Hill's gonna bring it, or uh, Ilsley. Ilsley now, he'll find Griffin. Griffin, he traveled. Yeah, that's another one of those plays. The, the on-ball defender funnels the dribbler into the, into the baseline, and then they lock him right up like that. He did a good job to not commit a charge, but uh, didn't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. As you see, Lincoln Mitchett in for Ryan Morrison now. Outside LaFlame. LaFlame will travel. So back-to-back -back travel turnovers for the Wildcats. Now Reese Hillsley's gonna take a seat. It'll be Olympian ball. The Oxbow Olympians, Griff, you know, that's not a mascot you hear very often. <laughs> the Olympians, yeah. Especially not around here. Oh, inside, nice take there by Will Gravelin. Will Gravelin all the way to the rack and scored it. He's got five. And now another travel for Gratton. Now up the court with it comes Cordy. He'll find Gravelin. Gravelin faked the jumper. Now he'll come out Davis with it. Davis near side. He'll find Matt Cordy. Matt Cordy. He'll miss the three. That was a nice rebound there by Jerkovitz. Gratton inside finds Lincoln Mitchell. Lincoln Mitchell with the bucket inside Griff. There. That is his. Uh, fourth bucket of the night, he's got eight points. Yep. Inside is Garrett Danforth, he'll go outside, find Davis now. Juicy Mitch had hit the ground and now Stratton with it. Stratton now finds LaFlame. Jerkovitz finds Morgan Mitch. Oh, shot up good for Morgan Mitch. You kidding me, Griff? Morgan Mitchett with the and one from the far side. Yeah, we got all kinds of Mitchett action tonight. We do. All of them have buckets now. Gabe has four points. Lincoln has eight points. Morgan with his first points of the evening. Oh, Morgan misses the free throw, though. Now it'll be inbounded for Will Gravelin. He'll bring it up. 73-18 lead for the Wildcats. Three minutes, uh, 20, 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Now Gravelin. Gravelin now, he'll find Davis. 
Davis, nice take to the rack. Euro step to the rim and one. Drift, you see that move? Nice take there by Ethan Davis. Euro yeah. step into the hoop. That's a high level play right there. That's, that's not an easy make, uh, play to make. No, it's not. Call that the old Italy to France there. Euro, <laughs> the Euro step. Stratton will pick up the foul. He missed the free throw, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, Morgan Mitchell's gonna inbound off the jump ball. Nice cut by Lincoln, Mitchett, and scores it. The assist to his brother, Morgan. Griff, the Wildcats now have four players in double figures tonight. They have Brendan Moody with 20. Sully Laflame has one. Xavier Hill has 12. Tyler Rivard, I forgot to change it, but he has 20. Morgan Mitchett has two. Gabe Mitchett has four. Ryan Morrison with six, and Lincoln with 10. And for the Oxbow Olympians, they have Ethan Davis with two, Ethan Emerson with five, Will Gravelin with five, Matthew Cordy with two, Reese Ilsley with three, and Chase Lund with three. I'll take a second and read our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Griff, one I didn't notice for baseball, uh, you know, we haven't had Morse insurance in a while. <laughs> that one was always yeah. our favorite by, uh, when I did this a couple years ago. Picked on Liz with that one, but <laughs> we'll let her, let her go with that one. <laughs> Interested to see what we get for a lineup coming out of the third quarter here who Hazen's gonna have out here for personnel. Me too, yeah, you know, we're gonna have one guy who hasn't played yet tonight, Dustin Piangirelli. He'll get out there, younger brother, I believe, of Nate Piangirelli. Inbound there for Gravelin. He's picked up by Stratton. Now Davis with it. Davis outside finds uh, Griffin. Outside Davis. Oh, now near side now, 15. That is um, Danforth. Now outside Cordy. Oh, and a bank shot by Will Gravelin. Griff, if you remember, kind of from the corner there, that's, you know, I hate bringing this up, but that's how Hazen got eliminated from the playoffs a couple of years ago. That's right. In the quarterfinals, a bank in from that same spot, almost. Oh, and a nice shot there by Liam Jerkovitz, he'll get his first basket of the night. Nice take there on the layup. 77-23 lead for the Wildcats. Seven minutes to go here in the fourth. Griff, you know the Wildcats scored a lot of points tonight. Yeah, <laughs> they sure did. But yeah, well, here's the thing. I think for the rest of these, this game, you know, we, we've seen that Hazen starters, they're maybe the top six or seven players in their rotation, can come out here and took care of business here pretty well against Oxbow. Now let's see what the bench players can do because when you get down to get down to Barry, right, in your Barry Auditorium, it doesn't really matter if you beat Oxbow by 50 or if you beat them by 70, but what matters is how good your bench unit is going to be if you can get your best players some rest in big games, feel comfortable with, with some of these bench players getting some minutes. Yeah, you know, because at the odd, that's going to make or break your season, really. Yeah. And that's going to, you know, determine who's, you know, because you got to have bench guys that you can rely on to come in the game in those situations, especially if you got, you know, your key players in foul trouble or if they're tired. Obviously, you can't play Tyler and Jaden and Xavier and Brendan all, you know, 36 minutes of a game or 32 minutes of a game. Right. Nice take there by Gabe Mitchett. It's been a Mitchett massacre tonight. Every Mitchett has got buckets tonight, Griff. As um, 10 for Mitch, so the Mitchets have combined for 18 tonight, Griff, with 10 from Lincoln, six from Gabe, and two from Morgan. 
Haley that, Mitchard had a really good game last night, too. She did. She played well. Yeah. Morgan Mitchard, speaking of which, there he is. Finds Gavin Stratton. Oh, he'll test the three. That's up no good off the back iron. Morgan Mitchett looking like his brother there with the rebound. Oh, nice pass from Gabe Mitchett yeah. to Liam Jerkovic. That's one thing, Griff, I think is an underrated facet of Gabe's game. Passes the ball extremely well. Yeah, that was a really nice pass and tight quarters in there. Jerkovic with four now. Outside Davis with it for the Olympians. Skip pass back up top, Cordy. He'll find near side here, that's Gravelin. Poked away there by Mitchin. That'll go out of bounds. Now Ryan Morrison, he'll come back in. Morrison, a good good ball player too for this Wildcat team. I think this Wildcat team's pretty deep, Griff. All these guys can play ball pretty well. Yep, absolutely. I think, you know, I'm noticing that like these passes that, that uh, like that pass that Gabe just made, Seems like these guys know how to play on a team that's got a big, uh, a big center or a big center and power forward combo between uh, Lincoln and Tyler. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, let's see, Liam and uh, Morrison are in the game instead, if they're able to do their job and get open, um, these other players are going to find them because they're still running the same, the same mindset as, uh, as if Tyler or, uh, as Tyler or Lincoln was in the game. Yeah, very true. You know, I, I agree. It's... Really, really tough to guard Lincoln and Tyler, too, especially when they're both playing well like they are tonight. Mm -hmm. So now Cordy's going to head to the free throw line and shoot two. That's Morgan Mitchett. He'll pick up his second foul. Morgan Mitchett, got to give uh, got to give the freshman credit, Griff. He's played pretty well tonight. Yep, absolutely. You know, and like I said, Tyler and Brendan both with 20. They're probably going to sit for most of this quarter. Yep. Cordy picks up his... Second free throw, He's got three points on the night. Now over with it, Morrison. Morrison now finds Mitchid. Mitchid that's poked out by Cordy. As now, Sully Laflame's gonna come in for Gavin Stratton. As you see, Griff, no Jaden Baker tonight, but he wasn't really needed. Yeah, um, don't want to speculate on what's up with that, but he's, I don't know if he's dressed. I think he's kind of hanging he out in a dre hoodie. He is dressed. Okay. He does have shorts on. He's just not playing tonight. Under the weather. Hope he feels better. Yep. As next Wednesday night, Griff, is going to be no easy task here in this gym as the Hayes and Wildcats know the Enosburg Hornets are coming to town. Mm -hmm. Enosburg, uh, a couple years removed from a state championship appearance where they lost to the Thetford Panthers. Inbound pass, Morgan Mitchett. Morgan, hook shot up, no good. Rebound down Morrison, who just scored. Ryan Morrison has eight points. Cordy's gonna inbound here. Cordy inbounds, finds Gravelin. 83-24 lead for the Wildcats. Three minutes and 56 seconds left to go in the game. Gravelin now finds Lund. On the outside finds Strat. Oh, oh, Lund will shoot the three. No good. Rebound down for Laflame. Laflame, good player on JV too, but plays mostly varsity. Now Pangarelli with it. Now back to Laflame. Now Pierangelli, or Griff, as John Lucier would say, Pier and Jelly. Pier and Jelly. <laughs> Jerkovic with it now. Up top, Morrison outside Laflame. Laflame gets fouled to go into the hoop. Oh, two notable alum in attendance, Griff, that I forgot to mention. We have. The Butcher, the Baker, the three-point maker, Isaiah Baker, and the Little Shopper, Ethan Shoplin. Oh, nice. Very Both nice. in attendance tonight. Little Shopper and Isaiah, longtime teammates and two great ball players here at Hazen. Both on the baseball field and here in the court and on the soccer field. Isaiah didn't play baseball all four years, but he played soccer and basketball with the Little Shopper all four years. Has Jerkovitz with it now. Looking for movement now. He'll find Morrison. Now finds Laflame. Holy flame, what a fake. Finds Jerkovic who loses it out of bounds and it'll go to Oxbow. Oh. 
Oxbow working it around now, looking for a shot. Oh, that did everything but go in. Now Piangirelli here near side. Laflame helped pee up the three. Griff, I wasn't sure if that went in or not. Guess not. <laughs> oh, Cordy tried to go behind the back there. Couldn't find the pass he was looking for. It was the right idea, though. Now up with it, Piangirelli. He'll find Laflame quick pass to Jerkovic inside, finds Morgan Mitchett. He'll try that little hook shot again off the glass, and he'll get that one, by golly. That is like kind of the classic uh, the classic Lincoln move. You pop out under the basket behind the defender for an open look, but you got to turn around, and you got to get it up quick before the defender can come over. And the problem is Morgan is probably about, what, six inches shorter than, than Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln is. And so instead of going right up, he kind of does a little bit of a fadeaway baby hook. Yes. And if he can make that work, yeah, you see him, he's trying to make that work coming out on the block again. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of similarities between Lincoln and Morgan's games. Yep. Morgan has potential to be a really, really good player for these Wildcat team for a long time. Kind of reminds me of, I always thought that Carter Hill when he was playing. Yes, he same was, thing, the little hook shot, the little yeah. baby hook around the hoop. He had all these really good moves around the hoop, and it's like he learned those even though he was only the height of a guard. He kind of had a guard's body, but had all these moves inside anyways. And it just kind of goes to show, like, you can still just have a good, versatile game inside or outside if you just play really well, have good uh, good fundamentals. Exactly, and, and it doesn't matter if you're small too. Some, some guards are very small but score well at the basket. Yep. Like Isaiah Baker wasn't the tallest guy, but he could really score around the basket. Mm -hmm. Nice touch, that guy could score from anywhere on the floor though. Mm -hmm. That's what made him such a threat. That's why you see he's second all time in boys points here at Hazen with 1,474, which Griff, you and I were on the call for that thousand point game. That's right. That's right, it was pretty good. And uh, um, that was, I got to imagine he would have had uh, like probably a few hundred more if he didn't have a COVID shortened uh, yes, tenure you know, here. You know, even, even his dad, Mike Baker, who, as you know, Griff, like I said, will not be returning to coach next year. So we want to wish, you know, Mike all the best in his future endeavors and thankful for everything that he's done in year 23, Griff. 23. In year 23. And yeah, he was the JV coach and I was here, so he must have been here a long time. Well, this is Aaron Hill's 23rd year, and he's been here just as long as Aaron. Ah, uh, gotcha, yep. Although Aaron has informed me, Griff, before the game that he does not plan on leaving anytime soon. <laughs> Aaron plans on sticking around. City's still having fun. Good, yeah, I mean, he must be having fun with this team. Oh, absolutely, has a good chance to go back to back at the Barry Auditorium. No, no jinxing, James. Yeah. I don't want, no. <laughs> you know, Hazen, if you guys don't make it, blame it on me. Jerkovic there with the rebound. Up there finds Morrison. That's up. Gets it. Griff Ryan Morrison becomes the fifth Wildcat tonight to enter double figures. Yeah, that's another one of those good transition plays. Uh, guy gets the ball quickly, starts dribbling it up court. Uh, transition defense wasn't really there. He's scanning and finds a nice pass, makes a, makes a good pass, which is hard to do, and uh, quick grab and layup like yep. that's the kind of that's the kind of thing you're looking for I think in in these uh, with your bench players like this in a, in a blowout game here just see what your see what your bench can do like make good heady plays like that and they have been it's been really good yes so the final tonight here from the Wildcat Ben it's an 87 24 win for the Hayes and Wildcats we'll be back Next Wednesday night when, uh, Griff, I think you're, uh, the Wildcats play their toughest opponent yet, the Enosburg Hornets. All right, good. That'll be a nice one. So we will see you guys then. Thank you very much. My player of the game tonight is going to go to Tyler Rivard for 20 points and a plethora of rebounds, although could have given it to young Brendan Moody who had a good game as well. We'll see you next time, folks. As again, uh, James Salvas on the call. Griff, my color man, Liz on tech. Have a happy and safe holiday season, folks. See ya.